Good morning everybody, welcome back to Tel Aviv here in Israel. This wasn't on the plan today, the next three days we didn't even think was going to happen. The hostel we're staying at just here at Abraham Hostels, they run like a tour company and they literally do three day tours to Petra. We're going to Jordan today guys, I'm so excited because it's the unexpected, I, we weren't sure we were going to do this. We'll see you guys at the border. Camel has two humps, two humps. Welcome to Jordan everybody. It is about 11 o'clock and we left Tel Aviv about 7 a.m. So we had to drive across the border. We were there for about an hour and now we're in Jarash. We're coming to visit an old kind of ancient city and it, there's actually quite a bit left of it. How you doing Bobs? I'm good. I'm excited. I never thought we were going to go to Jordan. I didn't realize how easy it was to, to come here from Israel. Yeah, it's actually super easy. You can do Jordan, you can do Egypt out of Israel. It's almost like you could use Israel as a hub and then go explore some more Middle Eastern countries. They don't do gates or entrances like they did back in the day. Like how grand is this with the four pillars? It's literally just engulfing Jess at the moment. you guys come to like our first major spot we're at an arena where they'd have chariot races which is so cool so as you can see here the horses and the chariots would come racing around there and our tour guide was saying because of all the issues with the country surrounding Jordan they used to have a thousand tourists come here every single day and they used to actually do chariot demonstrations gladiator fights if you guys have seen the movie you live you die as you can see there's no one here Literally. <laughs> he was even saying when we go to Petra back in the day, there used to be six to seven thousand tourists a day. He said you'll be lucky to see 300 people. We're just in a forum and it is just so fascinating because I didn't realize that there were so many like Greek and Roman influences here because just in front of me it's just a temple dedicated to Zeus or Jupiter. And it's so fascinating. Also, just here, they recently excavated this. As you can see, this was under sand for a thousand years. You can see how white it is compared to the rest of it. It's like that got a tan, it's been underground. I'm like, still here, and as you walk up the amphitheater. So. Guys, these are chariot marks from over 1,200 years ago. That's when the last ones were coming through here. Can you kind of see the Indo? See it? Yeah, you can actually. It's so cool. And the reason that it was from 1,200 years ago is because then there was an earthquake and it destroyed everything. Guys, it is lunchtime. I am so hungry. We've come to a place called Artemis Restaurant and apparently it's buffet. And I don't know what to expect for Jordanian, Jordanian food. But buffet means we're gonna hopefully find some good food to show you guys. Nice. Yeah, it actually looks super nice, the restaurant. So this is the traditional bread, I think. Hello. Hello. We have Arabic. Ajin. Ajin. Oh, wow. That's, that's so cool. <laughs> thank you. It's for you. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. you so much. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you see there's a love heart on it! <laughs> Honestly, I was expecting Israeli food. This is so different. I didn't realize the food would be so different in Jordan. I was expecting like hummus and... Uh... It's, not, it's like more curries. Yeah, it is. Welcome to Amman, everyone! Guys, if I've heard the tour guide correctly, this is pretty much where civilization started. So this is the spot where cavemen kind of started doing agriculture and stuff like that. So he said that this area is 7,000 years old. We're currently at the Citadel in Amman, and I don't think I've ever been to a place so old with so much history. It is 
incredible. I'm seriously getting blown away by Jordan. This wasn't even on my radar like Petra was. There's so much history here. There's also so much biblical history here. I think everyone thinks to go to Israel to get your fix. But you can come to Jordan. There's so much other sites to come and see. And seriously, Amman, how insane is this city? It's just been built up on these hills. It's just a giant just a giant urban jungle right there. I wish we could just walk around the streets and explore. It looks so unique in its own way. Before we head uh, towards our accommodation for the night, we've come into Oman and we're gonna go try some yeah, local sweets. I'm so full that I don't know if I can fit anything else in. <laughs> We haven't tried this, have we? They said it's called kanofe. Oh, kanofe, not kanofe. And you could choose soft top or hard top. And I chose the hard top, like the crunchy top. It's pretty caramelly, so we'll see if you like it. Because I know you're not a fan of caramel. It's nice, hey? It's nice. I like the pistachios. Mmm. but we had to pull the bus over. The sun is setting in this beautiful valley just over here. Do you reckon we're staying down there? Yeah, that's where we're staying. That is so cool. It's actually getting chilly. I know, this How feels weird. weird. This is the first time it's felt chilly in the Middle East this entire time. Beautiful. Guys, we just got to our accommodation. We were almost living off the grid a little bit. We had a Bedouin camp which we'll tell you more about later because we have to come in but this is where we're staying seven wonders seven wonders bedouin camp oh my gosh this place is so cool this is all set up the tents in a bit of a dome area so we're all kind of just this is amazing in a valley oh my gosh how cool is this so he said ours is right at the end yeah wow I can't believe we're doing this. Oh my god, like, I'm just looking at that. It looks like a movie set. Yeah. 14. And we're definitely in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, they're saying so electricity's on till 11. Okay, so Hot showers in the now. evening, but not the morning. Oh my gosh, do we have lights? I don't know. I don't reckon. Really? Or maybe on the side of the bed. This is so fascinating. This is it, guys. This is where we're staying for the night. That is it. This is. Oh! This is sick. I can't get over it. It's so cool. And then we're going to wake up so in the morning. Cool. Yeah, well, we'll show them more in the morning because yeah. we actually see the area. But... And we are in Petra right now. So we're in the UNESCO site. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, they're still. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're it's hard on. to see. <laughs> yeah, you got to do Awesome. Thank Thanks, you. man. Do you want more later? We have some local Jordanian tea. Cheers. I don't know what to expect. Oh, it smells good. But is it a herbal tea that smells good that doesn't taste good? Mm. It's like a sweet tea. Oh. You'll oh. really like it. It's delicious, actually. And we're in this like, little amphitheater here. When it's. Oh, they might even start as fire now. Oh, yeah. The fire is blazing. They've also lit up the side. Oh, you can help pick it up. Does it look cool? Yeah, it looks like fairies in an anthill. And dinner is served. I can remind me of like a Christmas tree, but rocks. <laughs> Welcome to Mars, everyone, or welcome to Arabia, or really, welcome to Wadi Rum. They use this place as so many filming locations for Mars. The Martian was shot here, Lawrence of Arabia, not a Mars movie, but Lawrence of Arabia was shot here. But yeah, we're gonna have a bit of fun this morning. We're going on a Jeep tour. This looks super fun. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Really cool. I guess that was too Yeah, it seems like stopped in front of these massive mountains. Wadi Rum stands for Valley of the Mountains and as you can see we're just surrounded by them. But it's so nice to see like this orange dirt. Guys this is the spot that they shot the movie Martian but of course they had to use a bit of uh, computer graphics to remove all the bushes but yeah you can see it looks like Mars when you're here. It's a good spot. 
I think we found a good viewpoint up there. stop and I think we have found the crown jewel it is just in the valley there's just mountains surrounding it and I think we're gonna come and have some local tea which we've actually been drinking a lot of at our accommodation the tents before and it is so sweet but so tasty Cleo it is literally your sugar tea but in the heat it tastes amazing Ah, thank you so much. Thank Cheers, you. Jess. Cheers. Oh wow, look at the tea. Oh wow, this is really awesome. Oh.